How to build a $15,000 3D website without coding in Wix. A $15,000 3D website is what I'm going to build in this video. And all that without coding. Some 3D website builders look nice on the outside, but in reality, your website won't be that nice like you expected. There are either two basic or require advanced coding skills. In this video, I'll share how you can avoid those difficulties and get straight to website building. So for this one, let's focus on creating a cool interaction with a fun parallax mouse effect. This effect really adds a nice touch and can make your website stand out in a big way. Step one, create a new site. Wix Studio is a step up from Wix. While Wix is great for beginners and those looking to create websites using templates, Wix Studio offers a more advanced platform with better design options. It's perfect for designers and developers wanting to make standout websites. Wix Studio makes it super easy to design websites with its drag and drop features and a bunch of templates to choose from. Plus, you can collaborate in real time so your team can work together no matter where they are. In this course, you'll get a solid intro to using the platform whether you're on a free account or checking out the premium options that come with extra features for business and e-commerce Right now, we're on the main dashboard where you can keep track of all your projects. Let's click to start a new project and choose start from blank canvas. So here we are with an empty space. By default, it throws in some standard sections, but we can skip those. Just select them and hit delete. Now we're in the main interface of Wix Studio. It gives you a simple layout to kick things off. At the top, you can switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views. There's also a preview button in the corner to check your work and you can easily go back to editing whenever you want. Publishing your site is straightforward with the buttons available. On the left side, there's a menu filled with all kinds of sections. You've got text, pre-designed sections, and more. Just drag and drop what you need into your design. You'll find containers, layouts, buttons, menus, and a media search there too, all of which you can customize. At the bottom, there's a layer menu to manage different layers of your site and a page panel for adding and organizing pages. Plus, there's a global section for handling common elements, which is super handy for bigger projects. You can tweak typography settings here as well, and there's an app manager to tap into a huge app market. Don't forget about the CMS panel and the option to add code to boost your site's functionality. Going back to the default sections we need to delete, we'll also get rid of the handle sections, leaving us just with the main section in the center. With this section, highlighted, I'll tweak the responsive settings to fit the screen, making sure it stretches all the way across. And before I forget, choosing the right template for your website is a big deal. Wix Studio offers templates sorted by industry, making it super easy to find one that fits your aiming for. And whether you're running a blog, showing off your portfolio, setting up an online store, or creating a business page. Next, I'll switch up the color to a darker gray. You can hit add to pick a custom color. So let's go for a bluish gray shade like this one. Now, I'll right click on the section to pull up the menu, Head over to the quick add tab and grab a video box. This way we'll have the video box sitting nicely inside the container. Step two, add a transparent video. In the contextual menu, click on change video to explore various video assets from the Wix libraries. Next, navigate to the tab for transparent videos where you'll find a variety of options available. You can hover over to each one to preview the animation. I really like this option, so let's select it and hit update. The video component will now change to the one I just chose. After that, let's enlarge the video and in the right panel, set the responsive behavior to relative width. Finally, you can click here to view the animations. All right, so far everything looks great again Against this gray background, let's go back and maybe resize it a bit larger. Step 3. Add a title. Next, let's select the container, right click and add a title. I'll use a basic title like Illusion. Then I'll navigate to the right panel to switch to center align and also center it within the viewport, changing the color to white. I'd like to use a different font as well. A script font could work nicely. Now let's click preview. We can see the text overlaying the video like this. This already looks decent, but it can be better. Step four, parallax mouse effect. Tip is to create a parallax effect between the transparent video and the text, which will help produce the illusion of 3D space. So now let's pick the transparent video and go to the interaction tab on the right side. From there, click to add a mouse effect. Scrolling interactions can achieve more than just animating elements. They can create intricate effects where items grow, shrink, or move in unique ways. For example, with parallax scrolling, background elements move at a different speed than those in the foreground, resulting in a 3D-like experience. This adds a dynamic layer to your design, making the page more immersive. We've got a bunch of options, but for this one, I'm going with the track 3D. Now let's click to check it out. It looks pretty cool, but a bit busy. So let's tweak the motion settings, hit the option to adjust animations. Let's drop the angle to 10 degrees, set the distance around 15 pixels and the perspective at eight. You can preview the interactions right here. For the movement axis, let's choose both options. Now go ahead and click to preview it. It's way better now, much smoother and more polished. Let's go over the previous steps and mix in the same interactions here. I'll select the text and head over to the interaction tab to add a mouse effect. I'm going with the track 3D and tweaking the animation settings a bit. I plan to 
keep it pretty similar to the transparent video, but I'll pull back the distance for a slightly different vibe. Next, I'll set the perspective to 8. When you check the preview, you'll see a nice little offset between the text and the video, giving us a cool parallax effect as you move the mouse. Now I'll jump back to the editor view, and my next move is to toss in some elements along the side to fill up the space, making the whole parallax interaction even better. Part of building a website from scratch, even without prior experience, is to use your intuition. Ask yourself if a particular section or interaction is going to be beneficial for your website visitors, as this will affect the performance of your website. Step 5. Adding more elements Moving on, let's pick the section and just right click to add a container. After that, hit the button to make it full screen. Next, go to the layer panels and move it to the bottom of everything. Now, swing by the design tab and set the background opacity to 0 so we can have a transparent container. Now, let's add an image to this container and make it a bit bigger. Click here to change the image and I'm going to use my own picture. I've got a PNG of some blurry rocks, so all I need to do is drag it into the spot and it will upload right away. Finally, let's hit update and we're all set with the rock image in the container. Let's align it to the left and manually adjust it to the edge of the screen. Now let's duplicate this one and position it at the right edge of the screen. After making a few tweaks, this is our result. Looking good so far, but still lacking. Now let's pick one of these rocks and apply a mouse effect to it. For this one, I'll choose track rather than track 3D. This is simplified version of track and I find it easier to manage. Now as you move the mouse, you'll notice that the rock follows along. First, let's decrease the distance to 150 which will limit the movement range and make it more subtle. Next, we'll do the same for the rock on the right. Let's add a track interaction and set the distance to 100, then switch the direction to invert mouse. Let's take a brief preview. Now you can see that the two rocks are moving in opposite directions, creating the illusion that the one on the right is in front and the one in the left is further back. Overall, I think it's coming together nicely. We still need to add a couple more things to bring this website to life before hitting publish. Step 6. Add UI elements So to wrap up the piece, we need to add the headers along with the logos and position the buttons in the top right corners. This is quite simple. First, we'll create another container, navigate to the right panel, enable advanced sizing, set the width to 100% and align it at the top. Next, manually adjust the container's height and lower the background opacity to 0. To fill this container with elements, navigate to the media menu. Here you can upload your SVG files directly. I have two pre-prepared files ready for this step, so I'll simply drag them into the user interface. Now let's select the white logos and position it on the page as desired. From this point, you can resize it to fit the container and align it to the left. We'll scroll down to create a 4% margin and we'll apply the same process for the hamburger button. Now we have successfully created the responsive header. Finally, let's complete the page by incorporating some body text. Let's place a CTA button right under this body text. Change the button color to white and the color text to black. Additionally, let's modify the font and adjust the corner radius so we have a pill-shaped button like this. Now I'll select this button along with the paragraph beneath it and click on the stack button. By using this stack group, you can easily manage the layout of these two elements. I'll move this down and then you can go to the right panels to modify the spacing between these elements. Let's decrease the spacing to 5% and ensure there's a margin at the bottom of the screen like this. One more thing that a lot of people tend to forget about Wix is its AI capabilities. Yes, you heard it right, Wix can build an entire website using AI, including animations too. To explain further, if you wanted to generate a website on Wix, simply type in your prompts right here. And then you could either say, make it a bit different or just start fresh and regenerate everything. Once you're in the design section, customizing your theme is straightforward and intuitive. If you feel like tweaking the aesthetics or color palette, you can easily navigate through various options to find the perfect fit. Overall, I believe they have done an excellent job with AI. It has generated some remarkable content. If I wish to modify anything, it's a simple drag and drop. For instance, if I want to change the background image, I can easily do that. It also gives you the capability to create images with AI. If I head to this part, you'll see that we have several additional tools at our disposal. This is quite intriguing, text generator, section builder, and theme assistant. All in all, it leads to quite an impressive result. Would you try this method if it meant you'd get things done quicker? Step seven, publish. Finally, we'll review all the animations, interactions, and responsive elements we've built to make sure everything works smoothly across all breakpoints. Ultimately, this is how it looks in the end. I think it looks really great and functions smoothly. When you're finished, you can click here to publish the site which will provide you with the default domain. You can click here to see a preview in the actual size. And voila, it looks fantastic. This opens up a lot of possibilities for what you can create. So I highly recommend that you give it a shot and share what you come up with. All right, so overall, that was a quick summary of Wix Studio's features. With these essential methods, you can create a complete website. Of course, there's a lot more to discover on Wix other than this, so feel free to explore. That's it for this video. If you learned a thing or two from this video and would like to see more content about building websites and similar topics, let me know. I'd be happy to create more videos. See you next time.